I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Expand. Review copy of this game is provided by the developer. This is a very unusual, puzzly sort of deal. Just gonna go ahead and start a new save here. Very cool music. So, uh, you missed it, but the game recommends playing with headphones and a controller. That is a very sound recommendation. Um, it's just four directions, so I mean, it works okay on keyboard. It feels a little weird somehow in a way I can't entirely describe. It just feels better with an analog stick in my opinion. Oh no, Parker's... This is very much a Parker wants to eat the screen game. Okay, you need to get down, honey. Sorry. Oh, jeez! Alright, so, um... Basically just a puzzle, you wander through this thing and, uh... Do your stuff. Um, interesting, but slightly annoying. Honestly, the game has the game's option menu works just like the actual game, and it makes it fairly slow to get around. Um, it has, oh, come on, Parker. Uh, pretty intelligent defaults. It defaulted to max settings on my PC at least. Um, not sure how intensive it is. Seems to run fine on my pretty solid ha hardware. It has MSAA, um, multi-sample anti-aliasing, so, uh, looks pretty solid. Um, I just really love these effects we're gonna see. Of course, as you play, you get to see more and more of these cool effects, but just, I really enjoy how... Come on. It sort of slowly reveals all these really cool things, and it does a surprising amount of cool stuff with, uh... Oh. You can die, as we just saw. Ah, I see. So, Parker. Um, one really cool thing that happens is if you die, the maze moves around. And it's still... Parker. Gameplay-wise, the same, but it's just... It's just neat. Parker. Game kind of does make me wish I had a super high frame per second um, monitor. It has some ghosting, and that's, I mean, partly my monitor, but I mean, also kind of inevitable in a 60 frames per second game. But it's just noticeable because the, uh, you know, black on white, lots of quick, solid, mo or fluid movements. The music's just really nice and atmospheric. I just love all the different ways the the space, I guess, moves around and stuff. Patience is needed. But I'm not patient. And it gives you these little hints only when you need them. And it's, it's pretty cool. I'm honestly not entirely sure how the save system works. Like, it... I guess it's just every cycle around. Be close. Okay. Parker! That's what the pause screen looks like, apparently. Parker. Okay. Be close. Oh. Um, this looks bad. Hmm. Be close. Oh yeah, you because you move faster around a sphere. Ah, oh, I, I see. That makes sense. You move faster around a circle if you know you're close to the center. So yeah, that makes perfect sense. What's the deal? Oh. See, this, this is kind of like... I guess I'll probably upload this before Sun and the Moon, but there's just so much they can do with a simple concept, and... Uh, it's just really neat to see. It reminds me, oh, in a good way of, like, lots of, uh... neat... single gimmick, quote-unquote... Uh, flash games that would have like you know a puzzle game based around one idea and they just execute it really dang well and doesn't overstay its welcome but uh, it's really effective and interesting dang that music is nice and peaceful pardon me and keep moving 
I really like the hints, because it seems to only give them on things where you could get stuck, and... At least so far, I haven't gotten stuck on anything. Like, that, um, that keep close one, um, I know in the back of my head that, you know, moving towards, you know, I'd move faster towards the middle of the circle, but I can definitely see somebody, or possibly myself, not really, aw, oh, crap, thinking about that and, you know, getting stuck there, but there's that hint that really helps. And it's sort of nice that it doesn't really matter, but it's sort of nice that the field rearranges every time you die, because this way you get to play it a little differently each time. Just a slight bit of freshness in there. What's the gimmick here? Find the missing pieces. So here's mine screw number one, apparently. Whoa. Alrighty. Uh, your movement's super weird towards the middle. Woof. Okay. We're finding the missing pieces. I'm honestly not sure what's going on at this point. I played slightly just to figure out, you know, how we, this works generally. I guess it's gonna keep pulling surprises on us. That is very welcome. Is that a button? It is a button. Neat. This is what I like to see, just really creative use of a core idea and lots of surprises along the way, not just, you know, eh. Wait, 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 wait. In Interesting. So I guess we've got a whole big map that we're on now. That's surprising. I did not look up spoilers, but I did hear from... Um, it was one of the... I think it was one of the Assault Android Cactus peoples that... Uh, wait, I already... Oh, that's really cool. Um, that A, this game had great music, and B, just needed to be played in general. Hey, we gotta race against time here. So I thought I'd check it out. So I guess we, get, we hit that switch on the right side this time. And now we can get somewhere. I guess we gotta go all the way back to find out where we're going. This is the sort of game I really appreciate being able to play unspoiled. It's sort of weird to say that as a person making a video that is kind of spoiling this for people, but I mean, that's what I do. Sorry. But I mean, you should know that puzzle games, everything is a spoiler to a puzzle. What the? Hang on, wait, what? Let's... I think I'm supposed to go back up, right? I think I just wasn't patient. I'm going back up, right? No secrets over here. Okay then. Ah! Uh, that messes with my head. Alright, so I think we've explored all we can downwards. This, this is the thing that opened up, right? I think something opened up. Upwards. I'm just trying to... Eh? That's neat. So we need to press some buttons. Oh, cool. I really love what they do with this. Like, I want to see the code for this, honestly. Like, so they do some really neat stuff with that circle. I am just very impressed by this bunch of moving circles and black spaces. That's just really cool use of this idea.
Alright. I really like when games pull a gameplay mind screw on you like that and turns out there's way more to the gameplay than it initially seemed like. Can't always get away with that, but uh puzzle games are very apt to do that. Alright, so we explored the right. I guess the only way to go. Oh. That's so weird, I love it. Oh, dang. I kind of wish this was... I guess it's not super fast moving, but the animation is just really smooth, and I wish I could have recorded this at 60 frames per second. I really do need to figure out. I'm going to try this. There's this software a friend recommended. Um, I forget what it's called. Some Sony thing. It's not Sony Vegas. It's something cheaper. And uh, it's supposed to do 60 frames per second editing and fairly bare bones, but it's hopefully all I need. I'm currently using Camtasia, and it's only 30 frames per second, and that's increasingly problematic. I'm thinking before too long, I'm going to get an Elgato Pro internal capture card. It'll be 60 frames per second for my console recordings. Ooh, no more backtracking. Thank you. And um, <clears throat> at that point, peril. That doesn't sound good. Hmm. Um, at that point, my inability to edit in 60 frames per second is going to be a pretty big pain. It's... So the red stuff kills me if I touch it, right? It's a really interesting use of, I think, just a single continuous chunk of music. In a game, it's never really dissonant. It just works. Eh? I really like how in a simple... Yeah, I'm sure the red kills me now. It's such a simple... Um, I had this exact same conversation in uh, Sun and Moon, again. But uh, I really like how the use of such a limited palette um, lets you have a really big impact just by switching up the colors in use. Or just adding a single one can have such a big impact. It's really cool. And oh, I see your clever games. All right, do. All right. Are we through the tricky evil stuff now? Uh oh. I hope so. Okay, okay. I was worried for a second there. Whew. I have no idea how long this game is. I, um. Since I, you know, typically do the quick look sort of thing. Don't push me! Rude! Rude! Stop! No. Um, so I usually do the quick look sort of thing. I guess I'll chop it. I'm approaching 15 minutes. Definitely before a half hour. That's usually my limit and I mean we've I think it should be pretty clear the uh, quality and concept of this game at this point but I do wonder if there's like some sort of good breaking point at some point here nope dead all right so Okay, I can't give up to this section. I just I have to beat this section now. I'm sorry. I ah right that that's yeah okay. Moving sideways is now kind of scary, but I mean it works really fine. We touched the center. Obviously we win now, right? Right? We don't win, do we? Oh, this is neat. It's like Frogger. 
Where are we going? Oh. We're doing our going home trip. Whoop. Whoop. This is just really neat. What else you got for me? I just gotta play the waiting game. Alright, we'll end this level. Aw, oh, you tricked me! How dare you! Alright, well played there. You made me complacent, and then you took advantage of it. Well played. <clears throat> oh, well played. Now I'm all paranoid. Ah, oh, that was an abrupt stop. That should have clued me in a bit. <clears throat> what are you gonna do? All right, I knew it. I knew it this time. All right, now we can leave now. Okay. Yeah, this is expand. It is on Steam. I'm. I'll check if there's other distribution platforms for it. But it's definitely on Steam. Uh, I forget the exact price. Fairly cheap. Pretty cheap. Yeah, it is very cool, as should be evident. So why not go and check it out? I'd have to stop myself from <laughs> finishing the whole thing on camera. This is Expand.